talk to you today about citizen science. But what is citizen science? That's a hard question to answer, so I'm gonna first start by asking, what is science? To me, science is a verb, not a noun. It's pursuing knowledge, it's pursuing knowledge using the scientific method. When science is a noun, it's hard to get excited about. It's old guys doing research, or it's already been done, they're wearing lab coats and they're carrying beakers. It's inaccessible. It's written in run-on sentences in a language that we don't understand, only the author understands, and it's hidden away in journals that we have to pay to get access to. When science is a noun, it's hard to get passionate about, but you need passion to do science. Ask any graduate student to give advice to new students coming in, and the first thing that they will say is make sure you pick a project that you're passionate about, or else the next two, four, six plus years are really gonna suck. But do we need six years of graduate school? Do we need more letters behind our name than in our name to do science? Should we leave science to professionals? I don't think that is the case. I think that really anyone can do science, and this has historically been the case. If we look back at some people who have made some big contributions to different fields, we can find Oliver Heaviside and Benjamin Franklin. So they made large contributions to the fields of mathematics, and uh, with Benjamin Franklin, he did lots of research on electricity, ocean currents, population research, but the only job that Oliver ever had was as a telegraph operator. And Benjamin Franklin made his living in many ways, including author and postmaster, but all the science he did was on his spare time. It was a hobby. Even Albert Einstein, the work that he did that won him a Nobel Prize was when he was a patent clerk. But calling these guys amateur scientists would be as redundant as calling a hockey player an ice hockey player in Canada. <laughs> What makes hockey so much fun to watch is the passion that the players have for their sport, even at amateur games. And the same is true about amateur archaeologists, amateur astronomers, bird watchers. And while thousands of peoples don't peoples, people don't go to uh, archaeological digs, they still can garner a lot of attention. And they do in the media. And this is also reflected in the number of projects that are out there that are aiming to involve communities and citizens in the project with them. And they target passionate people. But are people only passionate about fossils, planets, and birds? I don't think that is the case. Just think about a fly angler. This person, they spend hours every year on the water tying meticulous little flies just to make sure that they can catch the perfect lake trout that they've been targeting every year. Are they passionate? Do they have something to offer? Are they doing science? Do you see fish on this list? Is there a disconnect between the people with the right letters behind their name that are doing the science and the people that actually are passionate about what they're doing science about? So we should think that scientists would be running out there just throwing lab coats on people that are doing things they're passionate about and using this source of labor that's out there. And you don't see that happening so much. That's starting to change, and it's starting to become more of an important topic in the media, and it's also increasing in popularity in the scientific community, at conferences, and in the academic literature, which is great. But while there is support by funding agencies, that we don't see that same support at the university level or at the government. But the important thing isn't to get these people on board. The important thing is to get the people with the right letters behind their name on board, the people that are designing experiments. And while we might think that what we're doing is way too difficult for a regular person to do, it really isn't. And if we take the time to make, plan out our projects right, and we have the right tools available to us, we can really make use of all the data that could be collected by people who are passionate about things. And so, if we were to think about science as a verb about pursuing knowledge, then you would think that citizen science would just be the pursuit of knowledge by people that maybe don't have the right letters behind their names. So, 
Do, have I answered what citizen science is? 